Namaste Green Wave, it's Nassimi, and today we are going to make some mindful meals using macaroni. We're going to create our own hummus as well as mindfully make our own brownies. And in some of our recipes, we will use the Young Living essential oils. We will also learn how to make a macaroni mandala. And we're gonna observe the different types of pasta, not just by their shape and their texture, but also the different types of ingredients that create pasta. So reading the label is super important when you are cooking either for yourself or cooking for your family or your friends. So we can create more mindful meals by paying attention, noticing what's you know, in the label, what's in the ingredients of the food that we are eating, because health is wealth. So today we're going to start by just noticing different types of macaroni products. And we're going to notice what they look like uncooked before they go in the pot and then cooked, how their shape and their color and the texture might transform because of the, the boiling water. So on the stove right now, I already have the, the water boiling as we go over the pasta, then we'll put the pasta in the pot and let it cook. And then we'll notice what's similar and what's different um, for cooked and uncooked pasta. So we can have healthy pasta with vegetable radiator. So we can notice that this macaroni, there are one, two, three, four, four different colors of the macaroni. And reading the ingredients, these are made with spinach powder, beet powder, red bell pepper powder, and paprika. So that you know, attributes to the vegetable quality. So again, they, you know, infuse the, the macaroni, the pasta with the, the vegetables. And again, we can notice the shape, we can notice the texture of this pasta. And as I show it to you, I'm going to put it in this cup here. So we're gonna cook all of the similar sizes together. So we'll add a little bit more of the radiatore pasta. The next pasta we're going to notice is the rotini super greens. So this is made with kale, parsley, broccoli, zucchini, and spinach. So again, healthy vegetables that are filled with antioxidants. And we can see that the pasta looks green. And this is the rotini shape. So they look like spirals. And we can notice some are long, some are shorter than others. And again, these are green because these are infused with the super green vegetables. So again, if you, you know, didn't like to eat spinach or uh, kale, because sometimes they have a bitter taste, you can still get all of the nutrients from these veggies right in your pasta. So we're also gonna add these to our bowl. The next type of pasta that we have, we have the farfalle, though that means bow tie in, in Italian. And once again, we can notice what's the, the texture, the shape. So these are bow ties, or also like butterflies. And this is just a regular authentic Italian pasta made from hard durum semolina. So again, reading the label. So this is your classic regular pasta that you can find pretty much in any grocery store. So we're going to add in some bow ties, our farfalle, to our pasta. And we're going to notice what's similar and what's different when it's cooked versus uncooked. Next, we have some pasta that 
are infused with other healthy ingredients. So for example, this is chickpea penne pasta and chickpeas look like this. So again, these are another plant power that helps to fuel our body filled with good nutrients. So the macaroni is made with the, also known as garbanzo beans, but these are also chickpeas. So to look at the penne, so and we can notice the, the shape, the color, the texture of this chickpea penne pasta. So we can feel the, the lines here of that texture. Again, similar to the rotini, some are long, some are short, and it has a similar coloring of the chickpeas. So this pasta is filled with that protein power of chickpeas. So we're gonna add this to our pasta. And we'll add a few more here of our chickpea pasta. The next pasta that I have is the organic brown rice and quinoa fusilli pasta. And this is also gluten free. So quinoa and brown rice are other good nutrients, good fiber for us. And quinoa looks like this, these grains. You cook them very similar to pasta. Again, reading the label, it says, if we were to cook the quinoa, and you can um, cook the quinoa and mix it with your pasta, um, but for just for today, we're just cooking the pasta. But reading the, the label here, it says, place one cup of quinoa in two cups of water in a one and a half quart saucepan and bring to a boil. Reduce to a simmer, cover and cook until all water is observed for about 15 minutes. When done, the grain appears soft and translucent and the germ ring will be visible along the outside edge of the grain. So you know that it's cooked when it looks just like the, the package. And you can see the quinoa starts out as these little tiny grains. All right, so again, using mindfulness to notice this is the tri-color. So there's three different colors in this quinoa. And this pasta is also made with brown rice. So again, this is an example of brown jasmine rice. And this has a lot of potassium in it. So again, these noodles, these macaroni are packed with good nutrients. So again, we're gonna notice the, the color, we're gonna notice the, the texture. So here we have the the quinoa and brown rice fusilli pasta, almost looks like the rotini that we had, very similar. Just the, the spirals are a little different. So again, we can practice mindfulness just by looking at the different shapes. Again, they look similar, but we can notice that there are some differences we can compare and contrast. So we are going to add our quinoa and brown rice pasta to our pot of pasta. And then we also have the organic red lentil sedanini pasta. And these are made so with lentils. And if you ever seen lentils before. These are the red split lentils. So once again, similar to cooking pasta and quinoa, you have to boil this on the, the stove with water and it will turn into, um, red lentils are a little bit mushier. It almost looks like mashed potatoes. So these little red lentils will, you know, turn into a different texture. There's also whole green lentils, which their texture and shape will be different when you cook the lentils. But again, this pasta is made with the lentils. So more protein. Lentils are great sources of plant protein. Again, they have good antioxidants. They have great potassium. 
And we can, again, notice these are the red lentil pasta, the texture, the shape, right? And again, this is that red color, kind of looks orange on screen, but this is the organic red lentil pasta. So we're gonna add some of the red pasta. And the next step before we observe and notice the other types of pasta, we are going to pour this in our pot that has been boiling. I put a little bit of salt to help it to boil faster. And we are gonna notice the difference of the macaroni when it is cooked. So again, this is uncooked pasta. And these are infused with vegetables, with lentils, with again, plant powered protein that is healthy for you. So another alternative to just regular pasta. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pour this in the pot here. So here is my pot of boiling water. As you can see the steam and I'm just gonna pour this all in the pot. And before it transforms into our pasta, as you can see, you might not be able to see that, but we're, we're going to cook this on the stove. We're gonna put a timer on for about 10 minutes or so. Each package has a different timing. And since we're mixing them all together, we're gonna to start with 10 minutes. The next type of pasta that we are mindfully going to observe are different types of spaghetti. So for example, I have here the organic whole wheat spaghetti. So we can notice the color, the texture. So I'm just gonna take a few of the whole wheat spaghetti out again, filled with good fiber, good nutrients for our body. So we can see what it looks like. Are they all the same size? What's similar? What's different? This is our, again, our organic whole wheat. Like you might have whole wheat bread or a whole wheat bagel. Usually carbohydrates are in the, the whole wheat family and the grain family. So we're gonna take some more of the whole wheat spaghetti. Then we also have the organic fettuccine, just regular fettuccine. And this shape is a little different, very similar to spaghetti, but it's a little different. It's more of a rectangular shape as we can compare and contrast one spaghetti and one fettuccine. We can notice what's different, what's similar. The spaghetti, the whole wheat spaghetti is more of a cylinder-like shape. And the fettuccine is that long rectangular shape. So again, we can practice mindfulness just by observing mindfully our macaroni. The next type of spaghetti that I have is the super greens thin spaghetti. So again, this is similar to the super green rotini that we just saw as it is packed with kale, zucchini, parsley, broccoli, and spinach. So again, jam packed with great antioxidants. And once again, we can notice what's similar and what's different. So this pasta is green, just like the vegetables that it is infused with, that it's made with. And, you know, it's very similar to the organic whole wheat spaghetti as we compare and contrast to notice what's similar, what's different. And then the last of our spaghetti, our linguine, is the spinach and chive linguine pasta. So again, it's infused with spinach, but we can notice what's similar and what's different. So this pasta comes out just like this. It's not long in the rectangular form. 
And also the color, it, it's still green, but just a different shade of green. So this is the, the spinach and chive. So we can notice what's similar and different from the, the super greens. And again, once it's cooked, we'll also notice a difference. So even though they're all pasta, all macaroni, they're all different shapes, colors, textures. So we're also going to add some of our spinach and chive macaroni. So again, now we are going to pour these in the pot to mindfully make. And as I put the spaghetti in the pot, I'm gonna have to break it in half so it fits in the pot. So as I bring it over to the, the pot, I'm gonna carefully and mindfully, you're gonna hear a little crack as I crack the pasta here. And then we have it in half. So I took it and broke it in half so that it will cook better and it'll be easier to eat. So I'm gonna put that in. And then next, I'm gonna add in the spinach and chive linguine. And I'm just gonna stir it up so that all of the noodles are in the water. And again, I'm gonna set a timer for about 10 minutes to cook that pasta while I'm also keeping an eye on our vegetable and lentil or plant and veggie protein pasta. And the last shapes of the macaroni that we're mindfully going to notice are the smaller size macaroni. So this is called ditalini and those are like little tubes. So when we open up our pasta box here, we take a handful out and the smaller the pasta is, the faster it's going to cook too. So we're gonna mindfully notice the ditalini. So the little, the little pasta, again, they're like little, little tubes, just like that. So again, I'm going to put these in the cup here. So we're gonna cook all the different shapes, the smaller shapes of the, the macaroni together. So we're just gonna put a handful of the ditalini. And this is just regular pasta. So this is just a regular enriched macaroni pasta. The next one we're gonna add in is the orzo. So orzo looks like rice. So again, we're gonna carefully open the package because it's so small, it can spill very easily. So we're gonna carefully and mindfully, I'm gonna pour a little in my hand. Again, I washed my hands before I started this video. Always wash your hands before you cook. So this is the orzo. And usually this macaroni you find in pasta, um, in soups, because it's that smaller macaroni. So this looks like rice. Again, this is called orzo. And again, we can mindfully observe and notice the orzo pasta. So again, I'm gonna pour that in here and I'm gonna carefully pour some more orzo in the, this cup. All right. The next little pasta that we're going to observe is the pastina. And pastina is the little teeny tiny star. So on the package, it has the picture of the pasta in a bigger picture, but that is the little pastina. So again, this is just regular macaroni. And once again, we're gonna carefully pour the pastina. I'm gonna show you a little bit in my hand so you can see just how teeny tiny the, the pastina is. Just to notice the teeny tiny stars 
of the pastina macaroni. So we can notice they are much smaller than the orzo and the ditalini. They are much, much smaller. So we're gonna also add in some of the pastina to our mindful macaroni meal. And then the last pasta that we're going to observe are the alphabet. So the whole alphabet in a pasta form. So there are so many different ways you can practice mindfulness when it comes to your alphabet pasta. You could try to spell your name or spell different words that you're working on. And again, I'm just gonna show you with a little handful of the ABC pasta. So check it out. We have the little tiny letters. So you could practice mindfulness trying to find all of the letter A's or here is a, a letter B or the letter C, right? We can use mindfulness. We could see what words could we create just by you know, picking a handful of the alphabet pasta. So again, you can find this at any local grocery store. And we're gonna add in the alphabet letters of the different shapes of the alphabet pasta in our cup here. Again, this is all of the smaller size macaroni. And when all of the macaroni cooks, we're gonna put them all together to notice, to observe. So again, these are all the, the smaller types of pasta. And of course, there are so many other shapes and sizes of pasta. So you can practice mindfulness just by going into the pasta aisle at any grocery store to notice what's similar, what's different, how many different types of pasta are there, how many different brands are there. So you can always practice mindfulness with whatever you're doing. So now I have a third pot on the stove that I'm gonna pour the tiny macaroni in. And again, the smaller the macaroni is, the faster it's going to cook. So for the other pasta, I started out at 10 minutes because it's a little thicker, a little harder to, to cook. But with the smaller pasta, anywhere from like five to seven minutes, it's gonna cook faster. Since we have the ditalini in there, I'm gonna add in about eight minutes because that's a little bigger, um, the tube shaped macaroni. So we're gonna add this on the stove and all of our macaroni is going to cook. So as our pasta cooks, we can also mindfully look at different types of pasta sauces that you might add to your pasta. So we have a very simple tomato sauce can of pasta that you would need a can opener for. Then we also have the roasted garlic marinara. We have the Cajun style Alfredo sauce, so spicy and creamy Alfredo sauce bursting with Cajun style flavor. So this has some spice to it. And then we also have the vegan bolognese style pasta sauce with tomatoes and a meatless plant-based crumbles. So this is a vegan alternative. So if you don't eat meat, this is another plant powered sauce that you could use to get your ingredients uh, right, for your nutrients, for your nutrition. So again, you always wanna read the label. This is one of my favorite pasta sauces. But again, just be mindful of whom you're cooking for because not everyone likes pasta sauce. Other sauces you could do is a creamy Alfredo sauce. That's a type of cheese. You could do pesto, which is made from basil, the basil plant, and you could blend that with some garlic and some oil. And you have another, a green type of sauce. You could just use butter or ghee, which is clarified butter, any type of carrier oil. So oils you cook with sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil. So you don't have to use a, a tomato-based sauce, but again, you can practice mindfulness by reading the labels, comparing and contrasting what's the ingredients, noticing the calories, noticing the sodium, how much salt it has. 
Um, so there are so many different ways we can practice mindfulness when it comes to healthy eating and mindful meals. Another way you can practice mindfulness with macaronis is to create your own macaroni mandala. So the word mandala in Sanskrit means circle. And you might have colored before the mandalas as a coloring to calm activity as I have many of those on Seesaw and in my Google Classroom. You can create your own pattern by using similar shapes of macaroni. You don't have to make a pattern. You could create anything you'd like. So I used a paper plate and then I used the liquid glue. So glue stick isn't um, strong enough when it comes to the pasta, but you need the liquid glue. And then any kind of macaroni that you have. So again, look at your what's in your cupboard or the next time you go grocery shopping with a family member, maybe you go down the, the pasta aisle and you notice some really cool different shapes and textures of the different pasta where you could make your own. If you didn't have a plate, you could use any type of paper. You can get creative with upcycling cardboard. Uh, even if you don't have macaroni, you could use different cereals that you know have different shapes or candy that you may not have eaten. For example, jelly beans that were left over from Easter or the little heart candies left over from Valentine's Day or M&Ms or any type of candy, you could also include with your macaroni mandala or again, get creative. So I will put the instructions to create your own macaroni mandala in my Google Classroom and also on Seesaw. So if you do create one, please take a picture so I can see it and share it with me in our Seesaw or Google Classroom because I love to see your work as I learn so much from you all and I get inspired to see your work. So you never know what you can create when you make your own mindful macaroni mandala. So as our pasta continues to cook and boil, we are mindfully going to make our very own hummus as hummus is made from chickpeas and we did have our chickpea penne pasta. So another way to eat chickpeas is with hummus. So you may you know, have purchased hummus at the store. ShopRite makes these little snack packs of hummus that, you know, which is another great alternative, a healthy snack that you may have had before, or maybe if you haven't, you, you try something new. And hummus is great to eat with carrots. And carrots are a great vegetable. They have the, the, the beta carotene, which helps our eyesight. And again, carrots are jam packed with wonderful nutrients to help our body and help our mind. So you can dip your carrots in hummus. You also could eat crackers with hummus as well. These are my favorite crackers. These are the rosemary Sofioliette, thin and crunchy Italian rosemary cookie. So again, rosemary and herb. Rosemary is also an essential oil. These aren't made with the essential oil, but again, making a connection. Rosemary is an herb that you can grow in your garden and you can also get rosemary in the essential oil form, another form of plant positive power. So uh, it's another healthy snack. So again, you could have your crackers or carrots when you're eating hummus. And today we are mindfully going to make our own hummus using chickpeas. Chickpeas also come in a fancier form at Trader Joe's. They have the Greek chickpeas, which are made with parsley and cumin. Again, other great spices that help our body, help our mind. Parsley and cumin are also essential oils. So Again, you can only eat the Young Living brand, but here we have parsley and we have the cumin, which you could make your own parsley and cumin chickpeas if you didn't have the, the fancier version from the store. So again, we can compare and con contrast. What do we notice? What do we see? What's similar? What's different? So in the enlarged picture of the product, we can see the herbs and the spices on these and these look more plain. So again, I could make my um, hummus using this 
chickpeas or I could use these. But since I'm just gonna make a traditional hummus, I'm going to use the traditional chickpeas. So I'm gonna screen share the recipe that I'm getting the inspiration from for this hummus. I may not have all the ingredients, but again, I'm gonna use what I have. So I'm just gonna share my screen to show you my inspiration. So we can get inspiration from different recipes. We can combine you know, different hummus recipes to make our own based on what we have. So this recipe is in our Google Classroom. So again, make sure you're joined in our Google Classroom for all of the activities that go along with all of these videos. So reading the directions here, it says one can of garbanzo beans, which we have right here. That's also another name for chickpeas. It says one tablespoon of lemon juice. Instead of lemon juice, I'm going to use the essential oil lemon. Again, only Young Living can I cook with this. So we're going to make it as an essential oil hummus. Then we're going to add in the olive oil. I have sunflower oil. Uh, the garlic, I have garlic in the, the powder form. I don't have the, the fresh peeled garlic. We are going to use the cumin. We're gonna, again, make this as an essential oil hummus. So we're gonna use the essential oil cumin. And we're also going to use our Himalayan sea salt. And it says some sesame seed oil, which I also have here. And I'm also gonna add in a little bit of the black pepper oil as well. And, you know, if I wanted to add in turmeric, I could add in turmeric. Again, any of the, the spices in Ayurveda that help our digestion, help our body, help our mind. So, again, it's up to, you know, me how I want to make my recipe. So, I'm going to stop the share. And, again, that recipe is in our Google Classroom. So, maybe you'll make your own hummus at home. But now as our mindful macaroni is still cooking on the stove, we are going to make our own homemade hummus using our essential oils to create our own fresh hummus. So first to open our chickpeas, we need the can opener. So I have the can opener plugged in. And next I'm going to drain this with the colander, just like what I used when I'm going to take the pasta out of the pot. It drains all the water. So this is called a colander. So I'm going to drain the chickpeas. And we can see here are the chickpeas. So those are similar to what the, the chickpea pasta originally came from. So they were mixed, you know, in a blender as the, the pasta was being created. But again, we are going to mindfully make hummus with the essential oils also using the chickpeas. So we are going to put this in our mixer. Right. And again, I am using that recipe for inspiration as I'm going to guesstimate, you know, the how much of each ingredient I'm going to use just because I might not have exact of what the, the recipe calls for. So step one was our chickpeas. And it's a little mess. So again, I'm gonna dry off my hands from that. The next ingredient that I'm going to add in is the tahini. So tahini is made from sesame seeds and it kind of smells a little bit like peanut butter to me. 
But again, using mindfulness as I scoop out some of the tahini, it has a texture similar to peanut butter. So that is tahini. Part of it is a liquid. Some of it's solid, as you can see in there, because again, this is the summertime, so it's warm. So I'm going to add a scoop of tahini to our hummus recipe. So I'm going to add in a scoop of tahini. Just a little more here. Of the tahini. Next, we're going to add in our sunflower oil. So again, I'm using a carrier oil. Carrier oil. I'm using sunflower oil. Putting some sunflower oil in. That recipe also called for sesame oil. Again, another good oil in Ayurveda. So we are going to add just a drop. Oops, we got a little more than a drop. Sometimes it comes out fast of the sesame oil. So we have our sesame from the tahini and also some sesame oil. Now I'm going to add in my essential oil. So we're going to add in some cumin, some black pepper, and some lemon. So again, always a little goes a long way when we're cooking with essential oil. So with my cumin, we're just going to put in one drop so we can see. <laughs> So again, I'm gonna mindfully pour in one drop. Oh, we got two. We got two of the cumin. Next, we're gonna put a drop of our black pepper. Again, one, two, we'll do two. Oh, we got three. <laughs> Sometimes you get more. And then we're gonna add our drop of lemon. There we go. Oops, we got, we got two in there. And then I'm gonna add in my garlic powder. I don't have that in the essential oil form. So I'm going to sprinkle in some garlic. I'm also gonna add in the turmeric. Again, another important Ayurvedic spice that helps us with digestion, what helps us with immunity. So this is gonna make our hummus a little bit more of the yellowish color. So I'm gonna pour in some turmeric here. And then I'm also going to add in our Himalayan salt. So again, this helps our lungs. This is good for breathing, for focusing. So we're going to add in some salt. And before I put the lid on, just so you can see the before. So again, we have all of our ingredients in here to make mindfully make our hummus from chickpeas, we added in our, our Young Living essential oils and some spices to make this more of a yoga hummus, because again, health is well. So I'm going to carefully put the lid on and then plug in the Ninja, and we are going to blend it all together. So to blend the hummus, I have the lid on tight, I have the Ninja top on top, and it's plugged in. Be mindful if you're sensitive to loud noises. Now I'm going to blend it up. And hummus, again, is made from chickpeas, a healthy plant protein. So I'm mixing up all of the ingredients. I'm gonna stop, check in on it. Ooh, it looks and smells delicious. Again. And similar to the red lentils, the, the hummus is going to be creamy, you know? So again, this is how we make fresh hummus with essential oil. And I'm 
check in on it. And it might need a little bit more because I still see some chunks of chickpeas. Lid on. Stop. And next, I'm going to scoop it out in a bowl and show you how it turns out. But before I eat it, I want to make sure that I refrigerate it so all the flavors come together. And again, you can have this with carrots or even celery or really any raw vegetable or crackers or tortilla chips. So again, using what you have for a healthy, mindful snack. Here is our final product of our mindful hummus. It looks and smells delicious. And again, before I eat this, I'm going to refrigerate it so all of the flavors come together. It smells amazing. Again, we added in the turmeric at, you know, for that extra Ayurvedic spice. Again, I used that recipe for inspiration and then used what I have knowing what I like to eat to add to my recipe. So again, practicing mindfulness, knowing who you're cooking for. So this is our very own homemade hummus, which again, we had our chickpea macaroni that we cooked with. And you can also make hummus from chickpeas. So next we are going to check out the final product of our mindful macaroni. So after our pasta was boiled, I drained the pasta with a colander. And now we can mindfully observe the cooked pasta. So here was our first macaronis that we cooked. That was our chickpea pasta, our quinoa and brown rice pasta, our super green spinach pasta. We had our red lentil pasta. And we can notice how the, the macaroni has expanded, the shapes have expanded. I noticed that, oh, even the bow ties we have here. I noticed that the, the brown rice and quinoa is a little squishy. So again, we can notice and observe the different textures of the different types of pasta. Then our next pasta that we cooked was our spaghetti, our linguine, our fettuccine. And again, we can notice what's similar, what's different, you know, the, the size of the, the noodles, again, the, the color, the, the texture of the cooked pasta. And then our last bowl was our, our small macaroni, just a little hot, but we can notice how it's all come together. It really thickened and we can observe how the, the macaronis turned out, the cooked orzo, the cooked pastina, the cooked alphabets, and the ditalini, the little tubes. So now I'm gonna combine this all together for our final macaroni, mindful macaroni meal. And here is our final product of all of the different types of macaroni cooked together. Again, we have all different healthy pastas, being mindful about the ingredients because again, health is wealth. And there's so many different ways you can eat this pasta. You can cook veggies and add them in. You can add in your different pasta sauces. So really you can add whatever flavor you'd like to your mindful macaroni. So you can cook your own pasta and write about the experience. Again, there's a spot in Seesaw for our mindful macaroni lesson, whether you decide to make your own pasta mindfully, observing the different types of macaroni and your whole process of cooking, 
or creating your own macaroni mandala as a mindful heart work craft. Another little healthy sweet treat that you can mindfully make with using Young Living essential oils by adding in a drop of peppermint oil to create your own mint chocolate chip brownies. This is a healthy brownie mix. It's called the Green Berry Berry Fudge. It's made with whole grain brownie mix and antioxidants. And it has whole grain, three types of antioxidants, cocoa, whole wheat, and special brand. So this is a healthy twist on brownies. Again, I would mindfully follow the directions. And it says preheat oven to 350 degrees, generously grease or use cooking spray the bottom of the pan, empty the mix into the bowl, add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. I would use coconut oil, again, to make it more of an Ayurvedic brownie. So in Ayurveda, we use coconut oil. It's good for digestion, it's good for our joints, it you know, nourishes our body, nourishes our mind. That's a carrier oil. And then it says a third cup of water, one egg mixed with a spoon until all particles are moistened, about 40 strokes. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes. Do not overbake. This causes brownie dryness. Cool before cutting. To cut warm brownies easily, cut with plastic knife using short, uh, using a short sawing motions and store tightly covered. So whatever brownie mix that you have, or even a chocolate cake mix, you can add in peppermint which will kind of remind you of Girl Scout cookie Thin Mint. So another way you might have tried peppermint before. Peppermint is an herb that is really good during the summertime. It's nice and cooling. It helps us to focus. It cools our body down. You could make your own peppermint infused water. Just if you took some fresh peppermint from the store or from the garden and put it in some water, let it infuse and it's a nice cooling treat. So those are other mindful ways that you can use baking and essential oils and again, practicing mindfulness. So remember health is wealth and make healthy choices. Namaste.